G'day Roosters, I've got a Humdinger U-Butte Ridgey Didge Lisp program to show you today. It's my all-time favourite Lisp routine. It's called Wisey's Steel Shapes and you can get it from blog.draftsperson.net. Just Google it, you'll probably find it as well. So what's this Lisp routine about? Well, it's a Lisp routine that does two key things and that is draw American Steel Shapes and Australian steel shapes. Now the Australian steel shapes are hot rolled and cold rolled. The hot rolled come from the BHP Structural Products 1998 edition and the cold rolled, the CNZ Perlins, come from Stramit Perlins and Gertz Bridging 2000 edition. They sound old but steel sizes haven't changed, nothing's changed so they're still up to date. Now the American stuff comes from the AISC Steel Construction Manual. It's either the ASD 9th edition or the LRFD first edition. Uh, the blog.draftsperson.net shows you when it's that's worked on last. Now it probably works all the time, but the author has run it on this versions of AutoCAD and it's worked fine for them. So there's a couple of screenshots there of the palettes. So let's download the program. It comes as a zip file. We need to drop that zip file into a directory we want to run the program from. So let's unpack that, extract it all, and we've got the all the files here, so let's just grab all of those, cut them out of that, don't want it all sloppy like that, and we'll put them into, delete those two things, and we've got them all here. Now I'll just give you a bit of an overview of the key files. So stl.lsp that's the Lisp routine, that's the actual program. Now the DCL file is the dialog definition. So that's critical so you can get the palettes, the dialog boxes. Now the ST and the, just before I go on to the about, we've got the .dim files, which are the actual dimensions of the steel shapes. So I just span that out of the main Lisp file to make it easier to code with and people could add more stuff to it. Now stl.lisp, it is open source, I have, got credits on, I put my, the credits on there for me obviously and I put when I've made revisions and um, I have put it open source deliberately so I hope people can edit it, add new features and send it back to us for publishing. So I've got in here the stl underscore about dot txt file, it tells you how to install it, you can follow how to do that and I've got about the program and I've got references to other modules that I've used from other programs, re um, credits for those too, because there's a few other people have had a lot of ideas and I've got some existing ideas from some previous programs, but added a whole bunch of stuff. I did put a to-do list in there, things I'd like to do, but inertia's taken me away from doing any of those. So let's give it a run now and now what I said before, notice this, it's in this directory, right? Look at that. Now you need an AutoCAD file support path for this to run. If we go to config, files, support, file, search path. You need to have that Lisp routine in that folder. Now I've added that one in there already, so it's going to work. Now you need that folder or the, or the, uh, the it just won't work. It won't work properly. So I'm going to load it now with the upload command and go to my directory which is C convert lisp which is there and load that and I've already loaded it so it didn't give me other options so there now let's give it a run and I'll do the Australian palette first so it's stl underscore aus to run it and that's what you get now you can see I've got the hot rolled sizes, uh, universal beams, universal columns, rectangular hollow sections, uh, square hollow sections, parallel flange channels, equal angles, unequal angles, cold rolled I've got Z and C purlins, and you can do custom cold roll basically angles or formed angles there too if you want of Z channels and angles. So let's give the UBs a whirl, 200 UB 22 is common, what is a draw? Well, end view first. There's a UB, 200 UB. It's a polyline, I got rid of blocks. I think polylines are easier, you can explode it, you can edit it. I was a shop detailer when I wrote this program, so it is sort of 
working for that purpose in mind. Now let's do what are the other options here. We've got the top view. See that works on two clicks, which is great. And we've got the side view. So you've got the three different views of the 200 UB. Uh, now with the 200 UB, um, I just want to show you millimeter scale to inches. So you might be where you you want to use the Aussie one in a, in, in inches drawing. So you can just click that button and it scales it down automatically to inches. So it's um, 5.2362 inches across. Now let's have a look at the American palette. So that's STL underscore USA. It's got a lot more in it. Obviously, North American market has a lot more steel sh shape sizes. So you've got all your WM shapes that you can think of. Uh, I forgot to show you this formed angle in the Aussie one, but it wor works the same in the USA one. So I'll show you that in a minute. So you've got the pipes, tubing, and all of this stuff as well. Uh, I left this 3D solid and 3D surface in the program. I didn't write that component, but I left it in there. I don't really use it. I don't see the point of that. If you're doing 3D, I'm in Revit or some other program that's purpose built for it. So let's go W shape, shapes. Let's go 6 inch by 20 inch. So what happens here? Well, you get the same thing, but this time it's in inches. And you can do the top and the side. It just uses the last one for the shape, so that's great. Now I'll just show you that one I talked about before, USA one again, the formed angle works exactly the same in the Aussie one. So I've got um, some figures in here already, which are millimeters, but doesn't matter, it's just a unit. So let's do that, and I only have N view for that one, but you see what it does there? So you can do whatever you want with a fold angle, uh, folded shape. So a really cool tool, uh, YZ Steel Shapes, my most pr favorite Lisp routine, I use it all the time. I hope you do too and I hope you enjoy it.